Sound like a Mewtwo was cracking it, yo. Angry biracial back with another video, man. Yo, I saw this interview of of Fleece the Booty Johnson, <laughs> and I had to react to this Kang, man. This shit is hilarious. Look, I only watched, <coughs> excuse me, I only watched like, the first like minute of it. I'm like, oh, let me do a blind react. This shit is gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be hilarious. But for those who don't know who Fleece the Booty Johnson is. <laughs> I can't even say with a straight face. This is a king that was in prison since he was 14 years old. And he graped and did a lot of things with uh with, with, with other kings in there. So uh, let's uh watch some of the MSNBC report on him and then let's see his actual interview when he was out. <laughs> oh, I, I gotta get the giggles out. This shit is funny. <laughs> let, let me mute my mic. Get it. Very different kind of homosexuality. But we have sexual desires, right? So you got a bunch of men locked up in one place. All of them get horned. All of them's horny. All of them got sexual desires. So what are they going to do? If you won't let them have a woman, they going to have each other. Somebody's going to have to give us some booty. And it's just that simple. <laughs> the most... A uh, memorable story that Fleece told us was about the place and importance that booty has in a maximum security. <laughs> it's hard watching. I saw this interview in, in, in this NBC one before. It's been years, but it's hard watching this shit without laughing. <laughs> this Kang loves him some booty. Look, look, and I give props to, to the Kang for, for being all out there. Like, like fuck it. He says I, he said he liked booty. Fuck it. That's what he like. <laughs> wow, this is hilarious. Penitentiary, and he went on about it and on about it. In his prison, booty, booty was uh, more important than food. Booty, a man's butt. It was more important. I'm sorry. It was. He is serious as fuck. Look at his face. He is daydreaming about some booty as he's talking about it. <laughs> he, he's like, nothing more important than a man's booty. I'm serious. It's <laughs> more booty, having some booty, was more important than drinking water, man. I like booty. Johnson went on to tell our crew. God damn, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't stop laughing. The dude said, I like booty. It's obvious you like booty, booty at Fleece Johnson. Jeez. How he used to satisfy his sexual desires, especially during the 1970s and 80s, when he was most active and prison security was more lax. When I see one, and he looks good to me, when I go see him, I say, you come here. I said, I'm telling you what, uh, now I like you, now I want you. And uh, uh, we can do it the easy way out of the hallway. So the choice is yours, right? And it was always yes. Johnson also had a warning for the new generation of inmates. He's a, he's a pure prison rapist, 100%. A pure prison rapist. It, it, it's funny. The way he's just so infatuated and obsessed with booty was also not funny because he graped a lot of people. Then again, it's prison. So depending on what the person's in there for, they may needed, they may have been needed or deserved every, every ounce of being graped by Fleece to Booty Johnson. <laughs> they might be asking for trouble from old timers. You know, they got this thing where they save their pants, past their butt. It's a style, they call it some sort of gangster style, you know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they weren't prepared for this, right? So you say your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt, you know, and it's just that so. Johnson even let the lockup crew know. You know, and, and that's what, we, what I don't get, right? A lot of ex-cons, like I'm, I'm an ex-con myself. I was in the feds, right? But I was never involved in 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 none of that state shit that's that state prison shit you know <laughs> that's some fucking crazy shit you know but um 
And when, when ex-cons from the olden days get out and tell these, these young dudes, sagging meant you, you, you were open for business. Sagging meant, you know, that you were looking for a fleece booty Johnson. You know what I mean? And, and they don't seem to care. And I always thought that, you know, the way that these kings sag so damn much. Everywhere you go, you, you, you see some king w w w with his booty hanging out. It always seemed kind of, kind of, kind of, I'm trying to say this, got to be sensitive, you know, to the, all the communities. It always seemed kind of weird to me, kind of suspect to me, you know. Any man that likes having, hanging, having his booty hanging out like that is very suspect. And it go and it plays along with what um, the brother Walter Lee Hampton II has said that a lot of these canes are are DL, you know. That when he was in his prime, they wouldn't be safe from his advances either. If y'all had been in her back then in them days, and as much as I like booty, I probably felt one of y'all butts, and y'all was walking past me. And dirt, you just say so. I'm not no shame in my game. You know, he reminds me of this one dude when I was locked up. Yeah, um, this before I went to the feds. Uh, he called himself gay gay. He 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 was a bit he, he was an old dude, but he was diesel, he was built, and he called himself gay gay, right? And he he wasn't ashamed or, or, or whatever it is, and then he, he he was fighting dudes, knocking dudes out, right? And uh, and he straight up told dudes, he, he, he was like, look, if you ever fight with me, or if you ever owe me money, I'm going to knock you out and I'm going to take your booty. <laughs> it was just, prison is a whole different fucking zone. It's like, it's a whole different, it's crazy. It's a whole different environment. It's a whole different realm you, you, you're stepping into. And some of these dudes, they're like him. They're like, Fleece Booty Johnson, they would tell you straight up and dare you to do, to, to do something about it. Because a lot, and a lot of these dudes, they come into prison and then, then they think that the gay dudes in prison are, are, are like, you know, again, no, no offense to any of the communities. A lot of these dudes come into prison and think that the gay dudes in prison are all like the ones they show in the movies, you know, all prissy and weird and feminine. Nah. A lot of them dudes are, are, are some of the, the hardest gangsters in there. But they like Felice Booty Johnson. They like booty. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. But this is who Felice Booty Johnson is, right? Now he's out of prison. Let's see what he got to say. It, it, it might be a... Uh, I ain't going to say it's personal. It, it's personal, but I've had people ask me this. So he's out of prison now, and someone's interviewing him, and this is what he has to say about it. Uh, I know you're married now uh, to a married? woman. He's married to a woman now. <laughs> this booty bandit is married to a woman. <laughs> but do you miss prison? No, I miss booty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry. That's fucking hilarious the way he said it. <laughs> oh, man. Look at his face. He's serious, too. Serious as shit. This guy loves booty, but he doesn't want to be gay. It's like, I mean, it's 2023. Being gay is 100% okay, dude. Just come out the closet and say, you, you're, you're gay. Go, go, go join the gay community. You can get plenty of booty in the gay community. <laughs> He's married to a woman, right? I don't know why you're married to a woman if you love booty so much, but these kings are often, you know, confused about a lot of shit, you know? You know, he openly says he he loves booty, but he wants to be married to a woman. It kind of, it, it's fucking weird. But it, he's fucking hilarious. Look at his face. Serious as shit. Serious as shit. He reminded me of this. He reminded me of this. Well... Obviously, we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. That was Fleece Booty Johnson <laughs> getting everybody. What I miss, booty. You know, yeah, I'm married now. Out of here. Pussy this, pussy that, all that shit. 
Nigga, the first piece of uh, sex I had was booty. I went in, don't forget, I went into prison, man. I was in jail at 14, turned 15 in jail, <clears> in <throat> prison at 16. But that makes sense, though. He went to he went to prison at 14. Well, it, it, the jail at, at 14. So he's been incarcerated his entire life. So the first ever sexual experience he had was with a dude. That's why I don't get why don't he just come out and say that he's gay? I grew up in the penal system. Ain't never his first American virgin, as you can call me. But when I got introduced to some booty, hey, it was fire too, boy. <laughs> Made me close my eyes, man, when I came. But I'll tell you what, you know, I'm just. I like booty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to keep stopping. This guy is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and yes, my wife would see this. But I not really told her, honey, I love you. And she knows I love her. And I never cheat on her, which I won't. But I tell her the truth. I miss booty. And she don't do the booty thing, but... Uh, that's why, that's why I miss it. I, I need some butt. <laughs> so I'm telling you this. That's got to be awkward, though, man. <clears throat> and I don't know what woman um, would get with a man who's so obsessed with with men's booties like that. I'm not even sure if it's just men's booties. Maybe just booties all together, you know, because I, I don't know too much about Fleece, uh, the booty warrior, Kang Johnson. <laughs> but if his wife... Clearly they had this conversation before, right? His wife is aware that he likes booty and she doesn't do the, the she doesn't do the, the 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 booty thing. So it's like what does she think he's gonna do? Does she really think he's gonna stay loyal to her, knowing that he loves booty this damn much and she's not giving him any booty, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I can barely get through my my commentary. This is fucking this is this is one probably one of the most difficult uh, uh, reactions I have had to try to not laugh. And I brought this to my wife's attention. And she said no. But I'm going to tell you right now on camera. If there's anybody out there that can help me on some <laughs> booty, contact me, please. Oh, shit. God, man, I'm I'm gonna need a break. Woo! <laughs> Can you do that for me, the booty man? Can you contact my manager and let him know that you got sent us some pictures? Of, I want to see what you got. I don't care if it's hairy or what. I I, I miss booty. So, if you can help me, I ain't asking for a change. I ain't asking for two lives or three. I'm asking for some booty. Can you help me out on some booty? Any of you? Now, y'all want to keep it real. I want to know who out there can help me get some booty, man. He is serious. This dude is serious about <laughs> I done ran this across my wife. She said, no, nah, if, if I find out you're doing it, we're going to divorce. But you know what? I'm going to say it out here on camera. I believe that's what is really uh, got me uh, bitter out of here. You know, the whole time I've been out of prison, man, I've been bitter for real. You know. I ain't got no ass. Uh, uh, I, I, just to hug up on an ass. I don't give a fuck if it comes with a set of nuts or a pole hanging. <laughs> Yo, Lord, forgive me, man. I, I'm I'm really trying. This this guy is fucking hilarious. I'm, like, and it, what's so funny about it is he is serious. He is serious about this. He is not playing around. That is the hilarious part about this and, and look and kangs y'all gotta take the l on this one because this is you 
this is your uncle. <laughs> this is your grand. This is your grandpappy. <laughs> Fuck that. Good ass man. Oh my god. Let me close my eyes and go. <laughs> the booty man is just really deeply searching for somebody that want to be nice to me. I mean, like, don't they got like, um, oh God, I'm crying. Woo. <laughs> don't they got like, uh, gay male dating apps or something like that? You know, like, why is he on here <laughs> begging someone on social media to get, <laughs> I can't even say it. You know what I mean? When, you know, there's all types of apps that this, 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 this guy can get on, you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. Again, his face and the way he's just saying it is fucking killing me. Now, if you want to know if I ever took dick in my ass or anything else, contact me. You know, we can work this out, right? What have you did? You asked me what I done done. Are you interested in this? Booty. For you. All right, let me, uh, <laughs> I don't know how the guy interviewing him kept a straight face because I'm over here fucking crying. And this, cause this guy's fucking hilarious. This dude, bald headed old guy with no teeth begging someone for some booty, man. He, he married too. Doesn't give a fuck if his wife sees this. He just, he sees what's the booty, man. <laughs> let me, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> Let's switch lanes real quick. Uh, what what's, You said you hustle cigarettes and drugs and whiskey. Uh, wh where did the whiskey come from? They was actually bringing whiskey no. in there? I do the guards, the male guards, the same way. They know I was off the chain. I didn't play. They know I didn't give a fuck about going to the hole. I didn't care about no outside chores. Or nothing. When I come to you and I tell them guards, you'd be surprised how many guards in prison are gay. We had a, a, a captain, and this is true, true talk, he running his mouth. He talk about his brother. I ain't going to have to call his name out, but if he's he watching this video, he knows I'm talking about it. He said his brother was a, uh, what they call that thing in the army, where they special trained. Uh, uh, special forces. Uh, yeah, special forces, his brother. He said, my brother's getting ready to come work in the prison. Y'all think I'm strict. Wait till you see my brother. He's a, this, all that old shit. His brother came, and guess what? What's that? He got fucked in his head. <laughs> Yo, look. I don't know about all, all that extra curricular, you know, gay stuff going on. You know, look, when I was in prison, <clears throat> you know, people got this misconception that, that that people just be graping everybody in prison. Like it, it doesn't happen like that. The only people that really get graped in prison are snitches. If, if you were snitch, if you're gambling a lot and owe people money, a couple of things that will happen to you. Or if you, um, if you were, if you were a child predator, you know, or if you are a rapist yourself, outside of that, <clears throat> regular everyday people that they go to prison, shit, shit like that is not happening to them. Like, you know, that they have. I don't want to get getting into prison politics, but you know, there's there people are with groups for, for a reason. Like, if you're black, you 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 roll with the blacks. If you're Muslim, you you, you roll with the Muslims. If you if you're white, you you roll with one of the several different white gangs they have there you know the, the, there's a um that they're hispanic the same thing right so it's like and no one's really not really messing with anybody that, that, like that unless again you're in one of those categories i named unless you're a snitch unless you gamble and owe someone a whole bunch of money you know if you're on someone's paperwork if, if you a child toucher those people were the ones getting ha having issues with, with that because there are so many actively um Kangs in there, you know. But when I was in prison, it was mostly Kangs who were so-called 
gay for the stay. You know, you know, to me, there's no such thing. You know, I mean, you just whatever, you know. <laughs> and there's so many people that are actively about that type of life in there that there's really no need to, for any of that extracurricular stuff. And besides, you know, if someone says, like, I'm Muslim, so I rolled with the Muslims. So if someone would try to approach me for, for some weird shit, they have to fight me and all the Muslims, right? And and to have no one in prison likes to have b b b like a riot because a riot like fucks up business altogether. So if business is fucked up, everyone's gonna be mad, and every everything has to go through the head uh, of that particular race or, or car or or group that, that you're with. So it, it's it's there's a lot of prison politics, you know, that's not being explained in here. But he'll probably go go after the um, the loners that that's not rolling with anybody. You know, the people that mean they might owe money or something. So he, uh, yeah. What? Yeah. Mr. Special uh, special Ops, uh, whatever the <laughs> fuck he called it, he came in, uh, and I, I remember when he made his round, he had his big old thick legs, had one of them big old bubble butts, like a big bubble butt. I said, God damn. <laughs> and he would run his mouth. Yeah, this is my brother. You know, he's going to be working for y'all. He's on probation for now for six months, but uh, uh, he ain't going to play with y'all. I said, shit, I ain't going to play with him. The motherfucker's <laughs> ass fat. The motherfucker's ass fat the motherfucker, right? So I made it my, I said, hold up. I'm going to get to know this motherfucker. So the first time I spoke to him, I said, you his brother? He said, yeah, I'm his brother. Is there anything I can have you with? You got a problem? You know, he's coming out real smart and shit. But you know, when you a booty master, you already know how he's saying. <laughs> he said a booty master. <laughs> he said he's a booty master. <laughs> Motherfuckers come out with the tough talk, all that shield, erected in the shield. You know what's behind it, right? Penetrate the shield, you're gonna get the ass, right? So you gotta, you know, chasing is better than a real thing. Just chasing for some ass is better than getting it. You know, you chase out of it, you know, it's just, and then the day you get it, it'd be like, oh my God. I chased after this man for about four months. I knew he was gay. No, oh, it cut off. I can watch this guy interview all fucking day. I don't know. This was a blind react. That shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, fleece the booty master Johnson. <laughs> Oh, but surprisingly, there are a lot of Kangs like this. And some of the stuff that he was talking about reminded me of what the brother Walter Lee Hampton III was talking about, too. That a lot of these uh, Kangs are DL and they, they, they hide behind being married to, to a woman or having m m multiple baby mamas with a whole bunch of kids. They use black women, black women and women in general to hide behind. To hide who they really are behind. And all the while that they're sneaking around and getting infected, and, and then they turn around and infect black women. According to the most recent uh, CDC AIDS statistic, the highest group of, of new infections and current infections are gay and bisexual males and heterosexual black women. So, what that tells us is there are a lot of Kangs. Who, who are on the DL, who are sleeping with men and not telling the woman th th that they're with and infecting her too. So even though this guy is, is fucking hilarious, a lot of the stuff he's saying is dangerous. It is scary. And the fact that he's still married to a, a woman makes me question like what type of woman would get with a guy like that? With a guy that is clearly gay.
You know, he doesn't want to admit that he's gay, but he clearly is gay. Again, it's 2023. There's nothing wrong with being gay. Love who you love. Just be open about it, you know? <laughs> so it, it's, anyway, sisters, be safe out there. Again, as funny as this was, I thought this might be a different type of reaction. This shit was fucking hilarious. I can't lie. I, I can barely get through the whole thing. I love y'all. Y'all be safe out there, man. Be safe. Because these Kangs have no shame at all. None.